Okay, I got it cut just enough. I've looked at this wire to make sure that wire is not going to be in my way, and I don't think it is. And now I'm going to gently push that down the wall. And see, I got to twist it like that because the wall is only three and a half inches deep, right? And now I got to see. Okay, there it goes. It was hitting. There's a uh, a molly bolt right there okay there it went I dropped it now hopefully I can fish it out of that box now let's go underneath this, the cabinet and see where it's at shall we well I'm not seeing it just yet hopefully you can see this here I'm gonna reach my hand up there and if you got big hands, let's say your wrist can't fit up through here, another idea you could do is you could get a cut-in mud ring like this, a two-gang cut-in mud ring, and you'd have to put a different cover plate over, over the entire thing, and I'm not sure how that would work. I didn't look in the store for that. It might give you just enough room so I got to reach my hand up in there and you remember I had two wires up there and this stud bay goes from here over so when it flopped down it went that way I've got the wire I don't know if I've got enough room I don't want to I don't want to force it I only get my hand out one way Cause see here here it is right here and I can pull it out sideways like that but before I just jerk on it I need to get up in there with my hand some more and determine if I can gently pull on that second wire that I, that was going to nowhere I didn't know where it was going and there might be enough slop. If it's going through a joist, a, a, a stud, maybe I can kind of pull it back this way a little bit, you know. Oh, good. You see, that was the one I was worried about was that, was that white one, I think. Okay, so now. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've got to resituate this. I can, I can kind of pull it down in here. Now, the other wire I think might be caught up here too. So there. Okay, I can kind of, I can kind of feel both wires now. I think. See, I got the gray one here too. Here's the gray one. And I had the white one there too, okay? Here's the white one, so I'm gonna be careful with this before I just jerk it because it could be hung up on a sheetrock screw, a nail, a bracket, a, a, a screw from the cabinet, you know? I just wanna take my time a little bit because the last thing I want is to pull it off you know the little mounting gizmo inside there that I'm that I tried to save okay uh, there Man. look at that there it comes still got to be careful with it seems like Still sort of hung up. Just got to pull the wire a little bit. Make sure I got enough slop in there. You know, just be careful and spend a few minutes on it. Know when to be a bull at a china shop and know when not to. Really, you know. Tedious. I know you can do it. 
guess I've got to bring it out the other direction. Like that, gently, gently. And there it is. There it is, folks. Oh, okay. Whew. Ah. Take it. Taking all my energy and effort to fish one little thing out the wall. Ooh, I'm all out of breath. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, now, you see why I didn't want to put this orange little cut in in? It was just that little bit, so I can't, I can't even get my wrist through that. Okay, so now I can hold that up there and put it at the angle of the dangle. Let's see if we can't get this through there. I'd have to flip it a different direction off of the cut-ins, tabs. I don't want to just jerk it through, you know, because I got the wires right there. Man, you'd think this would be easy. Come on. It's hitting my taped wires, so. Okay, there you go. Okay, now, now I can put this in like that. And once I screw these in, doink, it goes up behind there, remember, at the top and the bottom. So now, now I can take my Phillips screwdriver and I can tighten those screws. Okay? All right. Johnny on the spot. He moved the light for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Forgot to do that. Okay, so that's, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to tighten up these two screws. You really need to see me put these screws in? Probably not. I'm kind of in a contorted area. I'm actually on my back here doing it because it seems to be a little bit easier. And I got my goggles on. I didn't think I was going to need my goggles today. But, you know, it's always nice to have them at the ready. In case you need them. And incidentally, when you put this in, make sure that you got enough room to get the flaps in there without it hitting your wire, obviously. And before you get it perfectly tight, you can straighten out the... Oh. Okay, there we go. That tab wasn't going back all the way until I reached up there and kind of helped it along. These work just a bit differently than my regular cut-in boxes. So I can feel where the tab is actually on the inside to make sure it's on the back side of your sheetrock. And it'll fit on 5 inch sheetrock or half inch, even further if need be, you know. I'm just trying to line it, line it up with my box, just in case anybody ever wants to look at Joe's handiwork. They'll see, hey, look, he even got it straight. And it's not crooked. Okay, just make that snug as a bug in a rug. Now, we can gently take all the masking tape off and install our mounting screws right to this box. Simple and easy by Joe. Now we still got the issue about this patch. What to do about that? Well, you can put webbing tape over that, put two coats of quick set. You saw how that worked. This wire is from here. That's going to be relocated to a plug that I installed. I'm going to install underneath here so that we can get we can get this out of here, okay? So that wire is gonna go away. It's gonna go bye-bye. And one other thing you could do there, you could put a cut-in box here and you could put another electrical outlet there if you have power somewhere else. Let's say you're just moving, moving a telephone and let's say it's above an existing 
outlet in your wall. Let's say this one was existing, okay? Or it's within the same stud bay. You could take out the existing plug, and you know how to do that. I've shown you that on my channel too, how to take out, how to remove an existing duplex outlet or the junction box. You take the whole box out, then you can fish a wire from there up to your telephone jack old location. Or same thing, if you've got a, uh, you know, something else, like a wall switch or anything, instead of patching, what else to do? Maybe you can put a plug up there. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a plug, we're gonna fish in from there. So if that was existing, you take out that box, even though it's nailed against the stud, and I've shown you how to do that, then you can fish a wire up to your new location, put a cut-in box up there, run a new wire from down here up to there. I'm getting you dizzy now, aren't I? Put your cut-in box in, put your duplex electrical outlet there. Then you would put a new cut-in box down here and reinstall your existing electrical outlet. Okay? certain things like that so I'm giving you different options that's what that's what I always try to do always two ways to do something now I've shown you two ways on what to do if you were listening close earlier I didn't put you to sleep earlier did I there's a there's a fire block going across here this is an exterior wall and this is about four feet up off the ground four four and a half feet or so and there's a fire block right there that goes from from stud to stud across the bay and that's all wood and I was saying oh I don't think I can get a cut in box in there so the thought was I would remove this move the alarm keypad down and then put the cut in box from here down but then after I put my plate on there I'm still gonna have that much showing aren't I well I've got another trick up my sleeve I am going to put a cut in box in here and this cover plate is going to fit exactly boom right where the old one was no patching no fuss no muss no taping no topping no skimming no texturing no priming no painting i'm going to show you that if you stick around and keep watching my channel you'll figure it out at that point just keep watching and I'll show you how to do it well there you go the finished product hope you learned something oh yeah there's one more thing I want to say 79 years to the day from today what on earth happened some special occasion do you know what it is in time do you have any idea what happened 79 years ago today well I'll tell you this little guy right here my pops came into town for a visit yes that was the day he was born today happy birthday pops happy birthday Thank you. And you decided to let me work on your birthday and you even you even bought me breakfast this morning and you came out here to do some visiting and some inspecting to make sure I did the job right and all that. But you know what? You're going to be rewarded for that. No, I need that. Because we're going to have a nice little birthday party for you yeah. tonight, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. That's Oh, that's why you came, to make sure I didn't over work today and was on time to your party because I've got to get you home yes. and get to the church on time, don't I? Yes. <laughs> Are you going to be there, Uncle Eddie? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to be there. We're going to have some other folks there, too, Dad. 17. Okay. Happy birthday. Thank you. I love you. And so do I. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. <laughs> well, that's all I have for this time, but I'll be back with more videos. <laughs>